In this lesson, we're going to discuss our second quarter lesson 1, the leading coefficient test, wherein we need to check the end behavior of a polynomial function by checking its leading coefficient and its degree. Recall muna tayo about polynomial function. Ang format natin ay ganito dapat ang itsura, wherein yung mga exponent ng x ay naka-descending order or naka-standard form. Kailangan natin i-arrange sa descending order para malaman natin yung degree of the polynomial. Yung unang term, this is the leading coefficient term. Tapos yung a sub n natin, this is the leading coefficient. And yung n natin dito is our degree of the polynomial. At yung a sub 0, ay ang ating constant term. We can name a function based on its degree. So first, dapat naka-arrange siya into general form. Wherein, yung exponent ng x natin ay dapat decreasing. Tapos kung ano yung highest exponent will determine the degree of the polynomial. So, kapag ka yung exponent ng x ay 1 lang, that is what we call linear function. Kapag ang exponent ng x natin, ang highest ay 2, that is what we call quadratic. Kapag ka naman ang highest ay 3, that is what we call cubic. Kapag ang highest ay 4, that is what we call quartic, and so on. So, pwede nating i-define ng function based dun sa kanyang degree. Pero take note, dapat naka-descending order yung kanyang mga exponent for you to define kung anong degree ng polynomial meron ka. We can check also the degree of a function based on its graph by checking kung ilang beses siya dapat dadaan sa x-axis. So, sa graph na to, this is a horizontal line. This is what we call the constant function. And it is defined by f of x is equal to 3. Dahil yung value ng y is always 3. Kaya hindi siya pwedeng dumaan sa x-axis. Hindi siya pwedeng maging 0. Kaya hindi siya pwedeng dumaan dito. Ang possible values of x natin dito is all real number. So, lahat ng x pwede niyang daanan. Pero pagdating sa y, it is always 3. Kaya ang degree niya is 0. Hindi siya pwedeng dumaan sa x-axis. In this graph, kung mapapansin, this is a diagonal line. And isang beses siyang dumaan sa x-axis at point negative 2, 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang maximum number of zeros natin ay 1. Yan yung kanyang degree. And that is what we call the linear function. Defined by equation f of x is equal to x plus 2. Itong line na to is defined by f of x is equal to x plus 2. At ang kanyang y-intercept naman is at uh, 0, 0,2. 0, 0,2. Dahil dito siya dumaan sa y-axis. In this graph naman, kung mapapansin, dalawang beses siyang dumaan sa x-axis at point negative 2, 0 at saka point negative 1, 0. Dalawang beses siyang dumaan, so ibig sabihin ang kanyang maximum number of zeros ay 2. Tapos yung exponent din niya ay 2. And this is what we call quadratic function. At ang tawag sa graph na to is parabola. In this graph naman, ang degree natin ay 3 based dun sa kanyang function. Ibig sabihin, yung number or yung maximum number of zeros natin must be 3. Pero kung mapapansin dito sa graph na to, isang best lang siya dumaan sa x-axis dito sa point na to. Ibig sabihin, yung dalawa pang natitira ay imaginary number or complex number. So, pwedeng mangyari yon, Pwedeng maging less than 3 yung kanyang uh, number of zeros. Pero bawal tumaas sa 3. So, dapat 3 lang. Kung ilan yung highest exponent, yun lang yung possible number of zeros ng isang polynomial function. Pwede siyang mas bumaba dun dahil yung iba can be an imaginary number.
before we proceed, recall muna natin kung paano ay identify ang leading term, leading coefficient, at degree ng isang polynomial function. Let's have the first example. We have f of x equals 3x raised to 4 minus 8x cubed plus 8x minus 6. So, check mo muna kung ano yung may pinakamataas na exponent. Siya yung leading term. So, ang pinakamataas ay 4. So, isama mo yung 3x raised to 4. Yan yung ating leading term. And yung kanyang coefficient, of course, ang ating leading coefficient, which is 3. At ang exponent niya, ang ating degree, which is 4. Yan. Sa second example naman, we have f of x equals negative x raised to 4 plus 16x plus 2. So, ang highest exponent natin ay 4. It means ang leading term natin ay negative x raised to 4. Ang leading coefficient niya ay negative 1. At ang degree niya ay 4. Do not forget, kapag walang kasamang number, laging 1 yon. Tapos, just follow the sign. Then, next, proceed tayo sa example number 3. We have f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. So, ang highest exponent natin ay 3. It means we have the leading term which is x cubed. At ang kanyang leading coefficient ay 1 dahil walang kasama yung x na number. And ang degree natin ay 3. Siya yung highest exponent. Next, proceed tayo sa last example. We have f of x equals negative 2x raised to 5 plus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4. Ang highest exponent ay 5 so ang leading term natin is negative 2x raised to 5. Ang kanyang coefficient o ang leading coefficient niya ay negative 2 and ang kanyang degree is 5 dahil yun yung pinakamataas na exponent. And now let's explore the behavior of a graph of a polynomial function. Let's observe the graphs given below. So here we have f of x equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6. Ang leading term niya is x cubed dahil ito yung may pinakamataas na exponent. And ang kanyang leading coefficient ay 1, positive 1. Ang degree naman ay 3, that is odd number. So observe natin yung graph. Kung mapapansin, nag-fall siya sa left, left side, nag-rise siya sa right side. At ang kanyang turning point ay dalawa. Dahil uh, tatlo yung kanyang degree. Dumaan siya ng tatlong beses sa x-axis. 1, 2, and 3. Pero ang pinaka-focus natin this time is yung behavior ng graph. So, dahil positive ang kanyang leading coefficient at ang kanyang degree ay add number, ang kanyang graph is falls to the left and rise to the right. Observe naman natin itong isang example na to. So, anong pinagkaiba niya dun sa nauna kanina? Dito naman, Ang given function is f of x equals negative 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 8x. Ang leading term niya is negative 3x cubed at ang leading coefficient niya is negative 3 at ang degree niya ay add number. Ano ang pinagkaiba? Hmm. Ang leading coefficient, which is this time is negative naman. At kung mapapansin dun sa graph, pabaliktad naman siya. Sa left side naman siya pa rise at sa right side naman siya pa fall. So yung pinagkaiba kanina, kapag positive yung leading coefficient, sa kaliwa magpo-fall at sa right side magra-rise. Pero kapag ka negative ang leading coefficient, sa left side magra-rise at sa right side magpo-fall. That is the same sila na add number, ang degree. Dito naman sa graph na to, we have f of x equals x raised to 4 minus 3x squared minus 3. Ang leading term niya is x raised to 4. Yan yung may pinakamataas na exponent. Ang leading coefficient niya ay 1, positive 1, at ang degree niya ay even. So, ano pinagkaiba dun sa dalawang nauna kanina? This time, ang degree ay naging even na, at ang leading coefficient niya ay positive. So, kung mapapansin natin yung graph, nag siya sa left, at the same time, nag-rise din siya sa right. Yan, take note na ang leading coefficient ay 1 at ang degree ay even. I-check natin yung isa pang function. 
And dito naman, we have negative 3x squared minus 6x plus 4. Ang leading term natin is negative 3x squared. Ang leading coefficient is negative 3. At ang degree ay 2, which is even. Yan, even din yung kanina. Pero yung kanyang leading coefficient ay positive. This time naman is negative. So, kung mapapansin yung direction ng graph, pare silang nag-fall sa left at saka sa right. So, kapag ka-negative ang leading coefficient at even ang degree, ang direction ng graph natin or ang behavior ng graph natin, magpo-fall siya both on left and right. So, based dun sa ginawa nating pag-observe kanina, sa pag-check ng leading coefficient at saka degree, Ito yung kanyang summary or magde-define ng behavior ng isang graph ng polynomial function. Kapag yung n niya is odd number, dalawang case yan. It's either positive or negative. Kapag positive yung leading coefficient, magpo-fall siya sa left at magre-rise siya sa right. Kapag naman yung a sub n niya is negative, Mag-rise naman siya sa left at mag-fall naman siya sa right. On the other hand, kapag ang n naman is even, dalawa din ang case niya. A sub n is positive at ang A sub n ay negative. Kapag positive ang leading coefficient, ang behavior ng graph natin, mag-rise siya sa left at the same time, rise din siya sa right. Kapag naman negative ang leading coefficient, magpo-fall siya sa left at the same time magpo-fall din sa right. So, that will sum up the leading coefficient test. Makakatulong to kapag mag-graph na tayo ng polynomial function. I-define muna natin yung leading coefficient test or gamitin muna natin ang leading coefficient test para ma-check natin yung end behavior ng graph at ma-check din natin kung tama nga ba yung pagkakaplat natin ng graph ng isang polynomial function. Let's check this one. Using the leading coefficient test, we need to determine the end behavior of the graph of the function f of x equals 2x raised to 4 minus 3x cubed plus x minus 1. So, na-define na natin ang leading term which is 2x raised to 4. Leading coefficient is 2, which is positive. Ang degree is 4, which is even. And dahil positive and even, ang end behavior ng graph natin is rises to the left and rises to the right. Kagaya ng nakikita natin dito sa graph na to, magra-rise sa left at magra-rise sa right. Dahil ang kanyang leading coefficient ay positive at ang degree niya ay even. Now, let's check this function. Let's use leading coefficient test to determine the end behavior of the graph. We have f of x equals negative x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 minus 2 x raised to 3 plus 1. So, yung kanyang leading term is negative x raised to 5 dahil ito yung may pinakamataas na exponent. Ang leading coefficient ay negative. Ang degree natin is 5, which is an odd number. Ibig sabihin, dahil negative ang leading coefficient test, or leading coefficient rather, at 5, or odd number ang kanyang degree, ang end behavior of the graph is rises to the left and falls to the right. So, kung i-check mo, tama nga, nag-rise siya sa left at nag-fall siya sa right side. Let's have more practice. We have f of x equals negative 2x raised to 3 plus x squared plus 18x minus 9. So, dito sa function na to, meron tayong apat na term. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. So, which one is the term which has a highest degree? So, that is negative 2x raised to 3 which is our leading term. Negative 2 x raised to 3, yan yung may pinakamataas na exponent. So, yan yung ating leading term. At ang kanyang coefficient, ang ating leading coefficient, which is negative 2. And, of course, it is negative. Negative ang ating leading coefficient. And, of course, ang degree natin, ang highest exponent ay 3. 
and 3 is an odd number. So since the leading coefficient is negative and the degree is odd number, then the graph of the function will or must rise to the left and falls to the right. Let's have another one. We have f of x equals 4x cubed minus 4x squared minus 19x plus 10. So we have how many terms? 1, 2, 3, and 4 terms. So alin dyan yung may pinakamataas na exponent? That is 4x cubed. So ang ating leading term is 4x cubed. And ang kanyang leading coefficient is, of course, that is 4. And it is positive. Remember, ang isi-check lang natin sa leading coefficient, it's either positive or negative. Tapos yung degree naman, that is 3. So, it is odd number. Ayan, sa degree naman, check nyo lang kung odd or even. Since the leading coefficient is positive and the degree is an odd number, then the graph should fall to the left and, of course, rise to the right. 